Hey guys, what's good? DJ Jason Hooper coming at you with part three of my series, You're Engaged, Now What? In part three, I wanna talk about choosing a photographer. Choosing a photographer is really important and like any other great wedding pro, they're gonna book up fast. So what do you do? How do you choose one? Well, start online, start Googling, start Facebook, start Instagram, and look for photographers in your area. There's a lot of photographers, so you're gonna find a lot, but you need to narrow them down. How do you do that? Look for photographers who have a style that you that you mesh with, that you enjoy. See if you can envision yourself in those pictures. Once you've found a few that you uh, really, whose style you really enjoy, um, reach out to them, contact them, email them, give them a call, tell them a little bit about yourself, about your fiance, and about your wedding, and also ask them a few questions if you have any. See if you guys mesh on a conversational level. That's gonna tell you a lot right off the bat. Now I should say that, like I said earlier, good photographers are gonna book up fast, and there's a reason for that. They have experience in weddings, they have the skill to get the shots they need, and to also edit those pictures after your wedding to make them really pop. And they're also professional. What do I mean by professional? Well, professional means that they're going to be appropriate at your wedding with your guests because they're gonna be around a lot. But also more than that, they're gonna take care of your special day. They're gonna take care of the pictures and make sure that they make it from point A to point B. They're gonna back them up appropriately. Those things matter. So when you are asking your photographer about what they do, make sure that they do those things. Uh, my wife and I had a really terrible experience with our pictures um, in, in that they, they were lost after our wedding day and we only got about 20 of them and they were all before the wedding or while we were getting ready there was none of us together or anything else so really make sure that they take care of your pictures from point a to point b a good photographer is going to already reassure you that that's the case so i hope that helps so i'm going to give you a bonus today choose a videographer video technology has come a long way in the last 10 years it's super easy to get really high quality great video but a professional is really gonna make it pop and really make it special. I've seen a few from the weddings that I've done where I was actually emotionally moved because the videographer got these awesome shots and blended them together and did a really great job. It's really the best way to relive your wedding day. Um, I wouldn't choose a videographer in lieu of a photographer. I would always have pictures because pictures are great and they do really say a thousand words. But if you have extra in the budget or you're, you're really wanting to have that go with the videographer with the same steps you know search them online check out their albums check out their work and uh, go from there so guys that's it for this video i hope you guys have had a great week i hope you have a great weekend i'll see you on the next one